Hello Internet, welcome to the Nerd Sanctuary. This is Yami. Today we're looking at the Eradicator Gauntlet Buster Dragon build for the Narukami Clan. Starting off this, we have Ambush Dragon Eradicator Linchu. If he supports a... if an attack hits during the battle where it's supported an Eradicator, if you counterblast one, put him in the soul, then you get to choose an opponent's grade one or less rear guards and retire it. Which... Those of you who know Dauntlet Buster's ability, he'll gain a critical every time an opponent's rear guard is put in the drop zone due to an effect. He also gains 3,000, but that's not as good. <clears throat> then we have four of the Ionization Eradicator Katniss. And when he's put in the drop zone due to an effect from one of my cards, or the owner's cards, there are three cards from the top of your deck for an Eradicator. Reveal to the opponent, put it in your hand. Return this card to the deck and shuffle it. Works great with a Tempest Bolt deck, as do the cards with uh, Resist. But I have a grade 2 that'll make me retire one of my cards, so that is a good one to have. We also have two of any Eradicator Critical Trigger. Doesn't matter which one it is. Next, we have four draw triggers. These aren't eradicators. I screwed up a little, but pretend they're eradicators for now. I'm going to switch it out later. But, um, six draw triggers. This, the deck lacks sufficient draw power with four, so I have to use six. Then, like with any deck, we have four of the heal triggers. Moving on to the Grade 1s, we have four Perfect Guards. You should all know what Perfect Guards do. They're a pretty basic part of the game that any serious player needs to have. We also have four of Demolition Dragon, who when he attacks a Vanguard, as long as your Vanguard has Eradicator in its name, he'll gain a plus 3,000 boost. Then we have... One of the newer cards that came out in Sworn Ascent, much like the Ionization Critical Trigger. And during your main phase, when your opponent's rear guard is put in the front row, is put in the drop zone. If you have a Vanguard with a Raghair in its name, you can Soul Blast 1. And if you do, choose a card from your damage zone and turn it face up. Very good card. Especially since we have Zwietan in this deck, which you'll see later, who can constantly fill the soul up. So that's... Great to have. So each one can fill the soul. This guy can empty it out to unflip damage. Both of them work in pretty good harmony. Then we have the Ceremonial Bonfire Eradicator Caster. And when this unit is placed on, van on the rear guard circle, if you have a Narukami Vanguard and the number of rear guards your opponent has is two or less, this one becomes a drop and draw. Then, though this guy is not an Eradicator, their only Gauntlet Buster requires you to counterblast the Eradicator specifically, so this is still a good card to have. Rising Phoenix, when it's placed on Rear Guard, Soul Blast 2 to draw a card. Moving on to the Grade 2s, we have four of the Eradicator Spark Rain Dragon. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, if your Vanguard has a rat hair in its name, this unit gets plus 3,000. Basic 12k rear guard. It's a very good thing to have. Then we have four of the Supreme Army Eradicator Zuitin. And when this unit's attack hits a Vanguard, if you have a Vanguard with a rat hair in its name, Choose a card from your damage zone, turn it face up, and soul charge one. This is the card that works with this one. He'll put a card in the soul to unflip a damage, and this guy will remove one from the soul to unflip a damage. Good harmony, good teamwork. And next we have two of the Lawrence Force Dragon. Counterblast 1, when I grade through with a rat cater in its name, is placed on Vanguard. <coughs> if you counterblasted, your your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guards and retires it. 
you gave your opponent a lot of choice in what rare guard they retire, but that makes it better than limiting, like, only grade twos or only front rows. It's very good. And next we have another one of the new cards. The Two Sword Eradicator Cohen Shack. It has it's it shows that it has the once per turn ability. And when your opponent's rear guard is put into the drop zone due to an effect from one of your cards, if you have a Vanguard with Rag Hanner in its name, you may play the effect all fighters choose one of their rear guards and retire it. And like I said, it has the uh, one per turn thing, the newer thing to save space with words. Because I don't know if it's the same as Yu-Gi-Oh, but they have to pay per letter, I believe. But this card actually works very well with the ionization. This one, the Cohen check, forces you to choose one of your rear guards and retire it. If you choose to get rid of the ionization right here with that effect... Then you get his ability to look at the top three, choose one, put it in your hand, and then put this one back on the deck and shuffle. Very good card to have. Another card that works in pretty good teamwork. Moving on to the grade threes, we have four of the Eradicator Ignition Dragon Break Ride. He does require a counter blast. He's the one that does, unlike... Bound sword, but this one works better with the deck type. It's counterblast one when well, Narukami rides this unit. If you pay the cost, choose your vanguard. It gets ten thousand till the end of the turn, and your opponent chooses two of his or her rear guards and retires them. Also, has a standard effect for the vanguard circle. If when this unit attacks, if the number of rear guards you have is more than your opponent, he gets plus two thousand. The final card for this, the Grade 3, Eradicator Gauntlet Buster Dragon. He has a passive limit break, which is when your opponent's rear guard is put in the drop zone due to an effect on one of your cards, he gets plus 3,000 and one critical. Also, his activated effect, by counterblasting two Eradicators, your opponent chooses one of his or her rear guards and retire it. There are three of these in the deck. Some people would say put four of this and four of the... Ignition Dragon, but I feel that it's better to put a 3, that way you can put more support into your rear guards and get good stuff with that. That way, Gauntlet Buster isn't the only thing you're banking on. Loving that we're getting the new support for Eradicators, so that's something great. Uh, if you want to use Strides in this deck, I haven't tested it out, but might be good to have. Definitely the uh, Conquest Dragon's a good card to have. Well, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. All the cool kids are doing yet, so you might as well, too. If there's something you want to see, leave a comment or a message, and I will try my best to get to it. Once again, this has been Yami from the Nerd Sanctuary, and I will see you guys later.